Refrigerated transportation plays a crucial role in our lives by transporting products from manufacturing sites to supermarkets and other retail stores from where we purchase foods, keeping them healthy and palatable all along the food transportation chain. The current refrigerated units on trucks are fitted with a vapor compression system, which is electrically driven, the electricity being generated by the diesel engine on board the truck. So what does this mean? It means even when the trucks are stationary, they have to keep their engines on, idling all the while, making them heavy diesel guzzlers. And why? Because if you turn off the diesel engine, the refrigeration unit, which is linked to it, is also going to shut down. And whoops, the product that you just managed to transport is either going to degrade or go completely bad. Besides heavy diesel consumption, refrigerated trucks powered by diesel engines are noisy, limiting truck deliveries to certain specific times during the day, are inefficient with just 25% efficiency, and emit a considerable amount of greenhouse gases. Electrical energy is a high quality form of energy and is expensive to generate when compared to thermal energy, which is a low grade form of energy. So if a low grade form of energy can perform exactly the same task as a high grade form of energy, wouldn't it be more meaningful to use it in that application? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could decouple the refrigeration unit from the diesel engine and instead power it by heat? And wouldn't it just be marvelous if this heat came from a device that could be used on board the truck? So that brings us to what I'm researching on. My research involves the design and development of an alternate refrigeration system powered by heat. And where are we going to get this heat from? It's from an electrochemical device called the solid oxide fuel cell which converts chemical energy of fuel into electricity and generates heat as a byproduct and is much quieter, way more efficient and generates just water vapor as emissions and more importantly reduces engine idling time. Through accurate modeling and simulation, I have laid a firm groundwork for a working prototype which is going to perform exactly the same function as a conventional system but with all the added advantages that I just mentioned. Not only that, the excess electricity can also be used to run the truck, making them completely emission free and thus paving way for future powertrain concepts on trucks. I want to leave you all with one last thought. Imagine generating cooling from heat. Isn't that brilliant? Thank you.